Hello, my name is Neil Bird and I'm the Principal Systems Engineer here at Fluenta. Today we're going to look at technologies for flare gas measurement with a focus on ultrasonic solutions. Flare gas meters are used in facilities such as oil rigs and chemical plants to measure gas flows in flare lines. In many parts of the world, this is a regulatory requirement. There are several technologies used to measure the flow of flare gas, and these are based on different physical principles and have their own performance characteristics. Ultrasonic flow measurement is one of these technologies. So, before discussing Fluenta's ultrasonic technology, let's take a look at a couple of the others. Differential pressure and thermal mass. Okay. Let's start with differential pressure meters. In a nutshell, here's how they work. The measurement relies on Bernoulli's principle. A restriction, such as an orifice, is located in the gas flow. Pressure sensors measure the pressure on either side of the restriction, which allows the gas flow to be calculated. Now, while this technology is a popular choice for gas flow measurements in general, it's not always suitable for flare gas measurement. And here's why. The measurement requires a restriction of the flow, and this should be avoided in flare lines. Poor performance at low flow rates means that the accuracies required by legislation cannot be met. The flow calculation depends on gas density, and hence gas composition, so varying gas compositions as found in flare lines are a challenge. And finally, the intrusive nature of the technique means that differential flow meters are susceptible to fouling and damage. Okay, let's turn to thermal mass meters. Thermal mass flow meters use a combination of heated elements and temperature sensors to measure the difference between static and flowing heat transfer in a gas. From this, the flow can be calculated. However, this requires a knowledge of the thermal properties and density of the gas. Therefore, the two main problems of thermal mass meters are, the measurement is dependent on the gas composition because different gas compositions have different heat transfer properties. And secondly, their intrusive nature makes them vulnerable to fouling and damage, and this can lead to high servicing and maintenance costs. The technology also suffers from a large measurement uncertainty at low flow and a limited turndown ratio. So how does ultrasonic technology work and what advantages does it offer? Fluenta's ultrasonic measurement solutions use the time of flight measure to calculate flow. So let's look at how this works. The starting point is the pipe which contains the gas flow to be measured. To this, we add two ultrasonic transducers, which are typically angled at 45 degrees to the direction of the flow. And as you can see, these do not usually intrude into the gas flow. Each transducer can act as a transmitter and a receiver of ultrasound. The measurement takes place in two parts. Firstly, a signal is sent from one transducer to the other, and then a signal is sent in the opposite direction. The signal in the downstream direction is speeded up by the gas flow, and the signal in the upstream direction is slowed. We measure the time of flight for each of these signals, and from those measurements, we can calculate the gas flow. Here, we see the details of how the transducers are installed in the pipe. As we saw earlier, the transducers are positioned at the edge of the pipe so they're not intrusive, which minimises their impact on the gas flow. Secondly, the design of the transducer assembly allows the transducers to be removed for maintenance without having to shut down the pipeline. So, what are the main advantages of ultrasonic technology? Well, firstly, it gives a high accuracy across the whole range of flows. It has a high turndown ratio of 4,000 to 1. Importantly, the flow measurement is not dependent on the gas composition. And finally, the typically non-intrusive nature reduces disruption of the gas flow and also reduces maintenance costs. And this is why ultrasonics is the technology of choice for flare gas measurement. If you're still unsure about which technology is right for your requirements, we can help. You can contact us here, and thank you for watching.